everyone and welcome to a series of videos now all about correcting balance of payments in balances. This first video is an introductory video. The first thinking task I have got for you, I would like you to look at the information shown on this chart. Pause the video for a couple of minutes while you do this and decide what you consider to be the most significant features of this data. Right, welcome back everyone. I think the most significant features here are actually on the imbalances. There are some countries that run very, very significant current account deficits. Those are the countries shown in the dark of Burgundy, Shade, Mongolia, Sudan, Niger, Mozambique, to name just a few. And the countries in the blue are the current account surplus countries. So Saudi Arabia, Germany, Norway, Angola. A second thinking task for you. This is 2018 data. Would you expect to see any major changes once new data becomes available? Again, pause the video just for a couple of minutes while you have a think. Welcome back everyone. Well, there are a lot of changes I suspect we will see in the data. But um, one change I very much expect to see is for the oil producing countries. Uh, there have been huge changes to the price of oil that will impact whether these are even current account surplus countries, in fact, once we get more recent data. Another chart for you here and I would like you to do the same thing again. Pause the video for a couple of moments. What do you consider to be the most significant features of the data shown? Welcome back, everyone. I think some of the most interesting features on the left-hand pair of diagrams, as economic theory tells us, in fact, developing countries here are running a surplus in their trade in goods, but a deficit in their trade in services and developed countries are the other way around. And this chart illustrates that perfectly. I think it's interesting too that the least developed countries run a very persistent current account deficit. On this next chart, we've got the uh, largest current account balance surpluses in the world today and some of the largest deficits. Remember, this is 2018 and these countries are valued um, in according to their rank in 2018. There is the UK. So the UK is second worst only to the US in terms of the size of its current account deficit in US dollars. But if you actually look at the number as a ratio to GDP, then the UK comes out worse. So what does it mean to run a current account deficit or a current account surplus? If we're going to think about what measures we might take to correct this, we need to know first of all why it matters. Um, looking at the deficit column then, well, this is an ex external deficit. It means there is a net outflow of income from an economy's circular flow. 
deficit countries, current account deficit countries need to run a surplus somewhere else on their balance of payments. And they might be able to do this by attracting inflows of financial capital from other countries. But basically, current account deficit nations are debtor countries. And the opposite, of course, is true for a current account surplus. One of the things that can happen when there are significant imbalances are greater calls for protectionism. And we've seen that over recent years. And what you've got on this um, infographic here on the right from the BBC is an explanation of how the US-China trade war escalated through 2018-2019. There we are, that's an end to this first introductory video.